welcome to another Method Man Productions episode. This lesson will cover how to graph linear equations. As long as your equation is solved for y, it's pretty easy to graph. Domain just means your x values. You can choose any of your x values. It doesn't matter which you choose as long as they're pretty easy numbers to work with. You see an equation where it has an x well then all you have to do is plug in your x values that you chose and it'll give you your y value. For instance, for the first one, plug in 0 for x, you get 2 times 0 minus 2, which just equals negative 2. The second one, same thing. You're plugging it in into the same equation. This time I chose negative 1. Do that for all three domains that you choose, and it will give you your range. Range just means your y values. Now that you have at least three x and y values, you have three coordinates. First one, 0, negative 2. Second one is negative 1, negative 4. And the third is 1, 0. You only really need three points to get a good picture of what your graph looks like. The last step is just to plug the points in to your graph. This is pretty easy. There's three points. One way to check if your answer is right or your graph looks right is that all the dots should connect to form a straight line. That is why they are called linear. For the second example, if you take a look at the equation, it's a little different from the first one. First step is to solve for y. I'm just going to rewrite the equation right there and draw my t-chart. Get rid of the negative one first by adding a one to both sides and you're left with y equals one half x minus one. Alright, that's my equation and now you're just going to repeat the same process as you did with example one. Choose any domains you want Try to pick easy numbers to work with. I chose 0, 2, and negative 2 for my x values, my domain. So plug it in into the equation that you just solved for, and you'll get your y values. 1 half times 0 minus 1, and you get negative 1. Do the same for all three domains that you chose, and you'll have three coordinates at the end. That one's going to equal to 0, and my last domain that I chose was negative 2. 1 half times negative 2 minus 1 is negative 2. Those values are going to be my ranges. So now all you have to do is rewrite them into coordinates to make them less confusing. My first coordinate is 0, negative 1. My second coordinate is 2, 0. And my third coordinate is negative 2, negative 2. Last step. Put them on your graph, plot the points. You learned that maybe in third grade. So I trust that you can plot these without me explaining it to you. One way to check if you're doing these rights once again is that all three coordinates should form a straight line after you graph them. Please try the last example on your own. Remember to solve the equation for y first before you choose your domains and calculate your range. Once you're done, unpause the video and your answer will be explained to you. The first step that you should have made was to solve for y. The only thing you had to do was divide 2 to both sides. Once you solved for y, you get y equals 3x minus 1. The next step is to pick your own domains. A little tip for you is that you should pick the easiest numbers to work with. I always like picking 0 and 1 or negative 1 because those numbers are easy to plug in. Once you've picked your domains, plug them into your equation to get your ranges, and the last step is just to plot your points. Hopefully you learned one way to graph and I'll show you more in the future. Please don't forget to subscribe to Method Man 20 for more math lessons.